Greetings, my friends. Hope everyone is having a beautiful day. Certainly is gorgeous out here today. What you see in front of you is a cougar. What is this? I just went blank. <laughs> I had it in my head right before I started the video. Cougar 320RDS. This is in the midnight edition, so it's all blacked out. And I'm not sure if you can see, I actually have the lights on. They've got lights underneath, and they also have front cap lights, which maybe you can see those on. They actually show up during the day. Beautiful unit. Let's talk about some of the features on the outside real quick. So you do have a massive pass-through storage there at the front. We'll get the weight when we get up there in a minute. Uh, you have a huge powered awning. You'll see the outside speakers. Those do have blue lights behind them too. I'm not sure if it's showing up in the video. Frameless windows gives it a really sleek look. I think it looks really sharp. Does have lithium batteries on board. Super cool feature. Check out this side. I do believe it has a ladder, so it's gonna be a fully walkable roof. We can also talk about the fact that it does come with solar flex. I think it's the Solar Flex 200. Yep. Ladder, so fully walkable roof on here. Solar Flex 200, I think. Let's double check. Solar Flex 440i. Okay, so that's an upgraded solar package uh, because you got the lithium batteries. That is going to keep your battery charged. That is going to allow you to run out your slides and stuff. What's really cool with that Solar Flex is the fact that it's super easy to upgrade either when you buy or anytime in the near future because most of the wiring and the components are already ran. So it makes it super easy to do that. Solid entry steps. And if you guys are ever out on an RV lot, take ours for instance, 66 acres. So there's an absolute ton of campers out here travel trailers over on the other side over there anyway if you're ever out on the lot on your own and you're wondering what the weight of a unit is you can always look inside the door right here and find this little sticker this this unit is 11,300 pounds and i absolutely love the living room in this one that's why i picked this one so if we turn to the back of the unit it is a rear living unit and rear living you shall do back here Look at the size of the couch. You do have recliners, you've got cup holders, you've got plenty of space to lay down, stretch out. You've got storage up above, blackout shades to cool it off in here and give you privacy. USB regular charging. Uh, what else do I wanna point out over there? Nothing over there. Sit down here, you've got a massive window along the back. Your TV is a telescopic TV, so it's in the down position right now, but you can run that bad boy up if you want to watch TV. More storage up above there. You have a massive fireplace. Uh, the fireplaces are electric only. They will definitely take the chill out of the air in most of the unit. And the great thing is you're using Campgrounds Electric, not your propane. They are super awesome early season, late season camping. I absolutely love ours. You can also just turn on the lights for the ambiance if you want. Ceiling fan, giving it an even more residential feel. And it's right next to the AC right there. So it's going to blow that cold air around. The AC is mounted on the top. So it is going to be quieter in here when you're running the AC. You've got your, uh, they call it a freestanding dinette. It's technically mounted to the wall, but the chairs are freestanding. So you've got that. I've had that in a couple of my campers. Love it. It's great for breakfast, lunch, dinner, but it's also really nice for uh, game night. I wish I could sit here and show you the rest of the tour because this chair is, or this uh, couch is actually really comfortable. Anywho, as we work our way around, carpetless slides, which is very nice check out the kitchen you have a ton of prep space and counter space you've got a 12 volt fridge freezer it is a residential sized fridge freezer so you're not gonna have any problem with storing stuff in here for like a week or so three burner stove you've got a residential microwave up there and look at all of the storage space that you're getting stainless steel sink 
I guess technically it's a 50-50. That doesn't all the way go up. You've got the detachable chef sprayer there. As I turn around, you've got your breakfast nook with storage below. You've got storage up above. And, and you got more storage here. So you can store all your dry goods or goods. Can't talk. Or pillows, blankets, that sort of stuff in there. Making our way towards the front of the unit, we're going to come to our bathroom. So you have your sink with plenty of counter space, storage down below, uh, your water heater access. So I didn't mention that while I was out there. I'm glad I just saw that. This is a tankless water heater on this, which is fantastic. Sit down shower with plenty of height because you got that moon roof in there. You do have your ceiling vent fan more storage and that's actually really deep cubby storage there toilet of course and then last but certainly not least we come to the bedroom king size bed massive plus especially if you're used to that at home you've got nightstands on both sides of the bed and then you have not only this large closet with stacking as well as hanging storage you can also slide that door open and use that as a nightstand to charge and stuff. So if you needed like a CPAP machine or something and you didn't have space up there, you could use that. But in addition, you also have this closet over here, which does have washer dryer prep. So you can actually have a washer dryer in here. I'll tell you, I didn't know I would love one until we had one. And it was great when we went for week long trips because we didn't have to go up to the campgrounds laundry room. Directly across from the bed, you've got a bank of cabinets and a place to either mount your TV or set your TV and a second AC back here in the bedroom. Price-wise, let's just go look because I can't remember. You're looking at $67,999. So we've got a discount of $23,488. Looking at a five 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 monthly payment. Um... In addition, right now, if you buy any Cougar, so that's fifth wheel or travel trailer, you get a free backup slash rear observation camera included, which is a $500 value. Very, very nice. And this unit, I believe, let's just say you picked this one. Yes, it is already prepped, which means that little plastic piece comes off there. The new camera goes in there and you are done. Those are great. I say they're backup cameras, so they're going to help you when you're backing up. But you can also turn that on while you're driving to help you decide to switch lanes or see if anybody's tailgating you. So very cool. Like I said, um, we've got quite a few Cougars. If you, I really love the Midnight Edition, but if you don't like the Midnight Edition, we do have more in the gray color over that way i've kind of talked enough in this video without walking over there uh and we've got the white color uh what one is that one i forget what model that is i just did a video on that last week that is probably one of my favorite floor plans they have a uh, very popular floor plan but we've got uh several different floor plans out here several different colors got another one of the white ones right over there as always if you have questions comments concerns i left something out i said something wrong which is highly likely drop a comment down below i will be more than happy to do my best to answer it for you or if you're on our website walnutridgerv.com and you see a camper that you would love a video walkthrough of drop a comment down below and i would be more than happy to come out and shoot it for you as always, have a fantastic day and thank you so much for watching.